I really love my life right now. <laughs> Whew, it is hot. <laughs> I'm trying to find a good angle. Where's the lighting the best? I am, I think right here. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of my quarantined life in India. So it is a beautiful Sunday, Saturday. I don't even know what day it is. I totally lost track and I'm sure you guys have too. But it is a beautiful afternoon here in Goa and I am on my way to go visit my friends and we are gonna cook Indian food. Oh my God, you are so cute. Hi. Hi, Hello. Hi. I think it's somewhere here. Social distancing. <laughs> Social distancing, don't get too close, six feet away. Yes. Thankfully we are in a green zone, so. Ah, exactly. Yeah. What a blessing. Yeah, yeah. it's been. So these are my friends from Arambo. Arambo. You've probably seen them in my Arambo vlogs a few times. And we reunite here in Palalam, South Goa. Yes. And um, I'm just so excited because what are we going to be doing today? Cooking! Ooh. Indian food! Simple Indian food! Well, I am so hungry so this is like the perfect time. Yes, let's start! Chalo! Chalo! <laughs> so we're going to cook a very simple Indian meal and I was just thinking how can we make it a little simple, really simple, you know, so that each one of us can cook. So um, first what I've done is, this is a very good investment one should do, at least in India. This is a pressure cooker and uh, the pressure cooker is uh, very easy, with this you can easily cook. Okay, So I have already done the rice because this takes a little bit of time, so I pre-cook this. Now the ratio is you put one cup of uh, basmati rice okay, and then add two cups of water and give three whistles. So it's one, two, three. 1 cup of rice, 2 cups of water and 3 whistles on fire okay and you get this perfect rice. Most of the rice which we get in restaurants are half cooked and you know you don't really like that you know so this is the easiest way to make nice fluffy rice. So we're getting this out of this and now let's um, ask Jessica, Jessica to make some dal. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to cook Indian food. Okay. Before she cooks the dal, let me show you the important ingredient that you should have. So simple, okay? So this is the secret recipe <laughs> of Indian food. So you should have one onion, one tomato, a small piece, maybe an inch of ginger, two garlic, salt, cumin seeds, turmeric, one chilli and a little bit of coriander. So this is the main secret ingredient in Indian cooking. This, this is the masala dabba. So we learned as children, we all learn how to cook. So it's more like Ayurvedic cooking, okay? So we have such dabbas at home. This is an Airbnb house. So I know the utensils are not what I want. This is normally either in brass or in steel. So we have such um, the bus we have about three or four of them so these are the main ingredients so in most of the food tempering we have the cumin seeds then we have the mustard seeds this is very important turmeric and we know right now how important is turmeric mm -hmm. then we have salt so we don't have to go to different small small you know utensils you can just get it here so now Jessica is going to take over Yay. and she's going to make dal okay so with the rice you need some dal so Jessica put this on fire so we will light the fire. Okay. You know how to use this yeah. nice stick? Okay. Yeah. Well, the question is, do you want me to do? 
Okay, no. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I don't want to burn your house down. Okay, I just do this yes. and hold it now. Yes. So okay. we put it on and just put it now. No. Ah! <laughs> okay. And then okay. put this on the fire. Okay. Now we can use the whole important point is that any oil, oil gives the flavor. So if you now we are using sesame oil, you can use ghee, you can use mustard oil, or you can use plain grounded oil. So right now I have mustard oil with the sesame oil. So just put one teaspoon. A little more, so that's two teaspoon. Okay. Now she can put this ingredient, whole of it. Everything. Everything. Yes. Everything oh my God! This is gonna be fun, so guys. Easy. <laughs> Remember, all this is in this. Okay. So we're going to use the same thing for other things that we cook. We're going to cook today. This is soaked um, beans. They are called as mung beans, split mung beans. Okay. okay. So you, I just soaked it for half an hour. So it was just half a bowl. In one hour it became one bowl. Okay. So you can use any of the dals. So this is the dal. Now split mung dal is a very cooling dal. So we have a little bit of water. Now how much water to add? You should add water as much as this whole thing gets submerged. So add the water. Okay. You make cooking Indian food easy. Yes. Because <laughs> it's always seemed very um, complicated yes. for no, me. That's is, why this I've is an easy been. session, you know. Jessica, with Jessica, hey. only for you. <laughs> because you are such a kind person. Okay? So just let it submerge. Oh, okay. Not all the So is it submerged? The camera, just see. See, it's nicely submerged. Now, yeah. now you have to stir it again and check for the salt. If the salt is okay, just yeah. The salt and just check for the salt. How will you check? Just no, not that. Way. So the checking is this way. See, so this whole thing is done, and you just do this and check. Ah, okay. Okay. So the salt is perfect. And now we can just close it. So how do you close a cooker? This black thing should come to the this black handle. So the handle should meet. So there should be union of handle. Yes, yes. So the notch she tried was a little <laughs> earlier. So we try a notch that is a little closer. And then and they shut it up. Wow. And how many whistles? Three whistles. Dal is done. <laughs> you add the vegetables. See how simple it is. Right. And then now. Stir, stir, stir. <laughs> yes. Let the whole thing submerge in the water so that it nicely. So what we do? We close it. And this veggie. We forget about the veggie for the next 10 minutes, okay? It can go into medium flame and we are done. Now, Jessica, what are we going to do? We'll, we have made the dal, rice is done, veggie is done and we will make one, um, something called, we call this koshmir. Koshmir means? Salad. Or salad, yes. This is mung beans kept overnight in water. And then the next day we just keep it also for some time we get sprouts. We boil the sprouts with some peanuts, mm. salt and turmeric. Add this. Jessica, what we add? The secret. Ingredients. Yes. In here. Yeah. Okay. And then we add the, the mixture of moon, sprout moon, beans. Yes. You can even add mangoes, raw mangoes, 
slight mangoes to this, okay? Wow. Right now, what we have is pomegranate. So oh we'll my God, add I love pomegranate. Very nice. So you we, can pour that so in. So we add this pomegranate to this. Yummy. And we will add about four tablespoons of curd. curd. And then stun. Look at this colorful salad. Jessica, you made it. This looks super healthy. I know. <laughs> I will show you everything like, you like. Love it. Oh. Done. So we will, sh we will now see how it looks like, okay? okay. After our time is over. Okay. How much time does this need? Ten so minutes. it will take 10 minutes. Okay. And then 10 minutes is done. And we let it rest for 10 minutes. So after 10 okay. minutes, we let it rest for ah! one whistle. So we need how many whistles? Three. Three. So we cannot go wrong with this. We cannot forget it at all. We don't need an alarm at all. Because it will just shout then. It will whistle. It totally wakes you up. Yes. So in after 10 minutes, we just leave it there for 10 minutes. And then we just serve it. So let's see how it looks like on the plate, okay? Well, finished? Yes. Now what we have to do is, these three whistles are over, but you should always check the whistle before opening it, okay? How do I check it? So see, you have to just check. If there is no air, steam you have to release all the steam, okay? Once it is over, three whistles are over, and after 10 minutes, you have to check the whistle like this. No steam coming out. Then you have to slowly open it. If there is resistance to open, that means there is steam. Ah. Okay, so don't open it because otherwise the whole thing will blow. <laughs> okay, it is very useful and it can be also dangerous. Okay. So you should really know it. The only thing is before you open, you always check for the steam. No steam, good to go. Open it and what you do in a dal is you whisk it. Mm. Okay, you whisk it. Get all the flavors out. A little juice of lemon, okay, and it's done. Dal is ready. Okay. Jessica, you want to serve? Yes. Come on, come on, come on. We love our lives. We love our lives. We love our Indian food. <laughs> Wow, this looks delicious. I can't believe I made this. And there is a dash of pickle, so we can teach the viewers some other time. Jessica, how much time did it take you? Under 20 minutes? Yes, see? And a wholesome meal, Indian food. Ta 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 Can we dig in? Yes. <laughs> because this just looks too good. Thank you for the food. Yes, thank you. Mm. So good. You wow, know, I can't believe I made this. Here's the salad. There's no? The veggies and the salad. Be careful, it may be hot. Mm. I really love my life right now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Too good, Jessica, you made my day. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? This is masala chai. Chai chai. And some curry from the packet. <laughs> yes. Chai chai. With a dash of green. <laughs> Cheers to good health. To good health. Good life. I love my life. Yes. Yes.
Okay guys, so my friend Pravina is a yoga teacher as well and she is going to teach me some simple breathing techniques that I'm going to show you guys. So Yes. What is the first one? Uh, the first one is uh, Kapalbhati because uh, we have to take care of our respiratory system now, isn't it? So let's do Kapalbhati and uh, we'll see how Jessica is doing it. Okay guys, so you're going to take your thumb, put it on your right nostril not so hard just lightly and then from your left nostril you will breathe just like you're blowing dust off yes. close your eyes focus on your abdomen going in every time you exhale relax your eyes When do I stop? <laughs> Tell you, it is 30 counts. Okay, stop now, stop now. Okay, so give a gap and then close the other nostril with the other thumb. With the right nostril, start Kapalpati. Remember, you are breathing out. It's active. Inhalation is passive. Very nice. You passed test of Corona. <laughs> corona won't do anything to you. Go Corona, go. Go Corona, go. What are some of the benefits if someone does this every day? It's good for the respiratory system. There are many alveoli in your system which doesn't open actually in your whole life waiting for you to do the right type of breathing. Okay. And uh, so Kapalbhati is uh, one of the type of uh, pranayam. Um, and I'll also give the link uh, to the pranayam to Jessica. She will upload uh, the link on her. I think in the comment box she'll yeah, put it. I'll link that down below. Yes, and uh, that will be only for Jessica's uh, followers. Yay. Okay. So you do that 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening, and uh, Karuna can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love my life. Yes. <laughs> So join me guys every day. Go Corona, go. <laughs> hey guys, so we are taking a walk to the beach. Do you like our mask? Looks like we are going into surgery. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful part of Palinam, all the green. Oh yeah. wow, that's a rice field, no? Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, we don't have anything. This yeah. dog is so cute. He's following. She's following us. Oh. <laughs> all the tricks we know. She we wants know her this. belly rubs. All the tricks we know. <laughs> all the tricks <laughs> in the book. Employ everything. Yeah. Ah. She wants her Scratchy. belly rubs. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> he is so cute. Look at those eyes. What are the teeth? Anywhere we're going? We are going to Palalam Beach, and this is the main entrance to Palalam Beach from where the tourists enter. Never been this way before. So lovely at this time. I hope you like this vlog and uh, please comment, kare, subscribe kare, or ye channel ko hamesha ye kare, or bell icon pe click kare. <laughs> the same as you said, like, subscribe and press the bell icon.